going to be making this darling personalized canvas art. I just made these for my kids' bedrooms. This one is for Braylee, and I found these really cute buttons just to add a personal touch to those. Today we're going to be making one for Gage, and the supplies that you're going to need is a canvas, tape, a ruler, glue, and I'm using E6000. You could use hot glue or another super glue, but I really like working with E6000. Chalk, a pencil, buttons, a sponge brush, and paint. I'm doing gauges a little different than Braley's. I'm using different colors, and I'm going to do wider stripes on his. With Braley's, I spaced it out about 3 fourths of an inch, which I really liked. I thought that was cute. For gauges, I'm going to space his stripes out an inch and a half. So I'm just going to grab my ruler. And I'm also going to start with green on the top, so I'm going to count this. And so I'm just going to measure down a little more than an inch. All right, and then I'm just going to mark that with my pencil. And I'm going to do that on each side. And my tape is 3 fourths of an inch wide, so I'm going to do two pieces. Just line that up with your marks. Okay, and then we're going to measure down an inch and a half. Mark that with your pencil. Okay, once your stripes are on and ready to go, we're going to paint all of the white stripes green. Okay, I did two coats of my paint just because you can see that canvas through the first coat. And once it is dry, we're going to remove the tape. All right, once your tape is off, you're ready to draw your initial on your canvas. And I'm using chalk for that. So I'm just going to write our G. All right, once that is on there, we're ready to add our buttons. And I'm just going to cover the G with some E6000. Okay, and next we're going to add our buttons. And I tried to alternate the colors. There are some light blue ones and some dark blue ones and some different sizes. All right, and that is it. I just love how this turned out. It's such an easy craft to do. You can always find different patterns for your buttons or you could pile these up a little bit more. I kind of just like it simple and clean and I love how that turned out. All right, that is it for our personalized canvas art. I really love how these turned out and I think they will be perfect for my kids' rooms and I can't wait to add another one soon. Let me know what you think about this craft. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.